Welcome to the Pharma Topics, friends. Uh, today, what I am going to cover is the first of all, I am going to tell you the what is the Niper and uh, where it is situated. Mainly, it is having the seven branch and uh, forthcoming branch are there, which shortly they will start. So, mainly the main branch is at SS Nagar Mohali, as you all know, and uh, then six other branches are there, including the Ahmedabad branch, Hyderabad branch, Guwahati branch, Kolkata branch, Raiwarli branch and uh, Hajibur branch so these are the seven branches of the Niper and uh, it is the national um, it is a uh, it is the institute of national importance and uh, for uh, giving the exam of Niper it is very clear that you have to complete your GPED if you are qualified in GPED then, then and then only you are uh, allowed to give Niper so first of all what is the there in Niper is that uh, the scenario of the Niper and the GPET what are you have prepared for GPET and Niper is completely different Niper mainly focuses on the organic chemistry and this all part the chemistry based part and generally the questions of Niper are almost repeating and you will find the previous questions about 30 to 40 previous questions in each paper so I recommend you that you should go with the companion which includes the papers of the uh, papers of the previous Niper examinations and it is it is having the it is given by the Inamdar ma'am so you should go with this companion so you will find 30 to 40 questions repeating question and if you don't find the repeating questions then you can get idea regarding the which type of questions are asked in Niper so basically it, uh, I have told you that it uh, mainly emphasizes on the organic chemistry part the shootings and all that part are balanced uh, equally and uh, what is the curriculum that uh, what you should cover for the Niper examination that I would like to tell you that uh, what you are not prepared for GPET for GPET I, as I have told you in the video which is already there on website that how to prepare for GPET that these are all books and apart from that what you have to cover is that the in case of organic chemistry the which type of ester degradation is there then what is the electronegativity which are the different type of bonds and also in case of the pharmaceutics this is about the organic chemistry in case of pharmaceutics you should cover the nano formulations what are the brand names of these formulations and also the what are the transporters what do you mean by the transporters how it works you mainly know the mainly one transport is the PGP you should go with it in case of pharmaceutics in case of uh, while in case of cognosy and all that part they simply ask very 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 easy questions and pharmacognosy and the pharmacology these are the two parts which, which are very easy there in Niper because they are very simple and very basic questions regarding these two subjects and uh, apart from this, these four main subjects, pharmaceutics, pharmaceutics analysis and pharmacology and pharmacognosy there are some subjects uh, like uh, you will find the questions of aptitude vocab in Niper and also the general knowledge so I would like to recommend you that uh, you should go with the USFD website the, in this USFD website you will find uh, one tab where you you can find that recently approved drugs this recently approved drugs help you the helps you because generally one or two questions are there on the recently approved drugs in case of Niper examination so you can think that the your one question is confirmed from just watching these drugs you should you should know about the recent drugs and uh, aptitude and vocab it's up to you that what you want to do and general, general knowledge they generally, uh, generally ask about uh, previous one to two months uh, literature so you should read the newspapers and all that so it is all about the NIPAR examination and how to cover apart from GPET uh, you are preparing for GPET you have to repeat those all, the, all those things you have to read all those subjects what you read in GPET but apart from that additionally you have to read all these things and also in case of analysis you should go with guidelines that which guideline is there for which subject uh, for example I would like to say it's a Q2 guidelines it's a quality guideline too it is for the 
validation and method development of analytical procedure so you should go with these guidelines so it may help you so thank you this is all about the NIPER examination for further videos please watch former toppers thank you